had to have something to drink. <laughs> um, yeah, this is this is freshly cut pineapple and ice and seven up and Sobieski vodka. Sobieski vodka! <laughs> yeah. Um this glass is from the spot that I used to have brunch at quite regularly when I lived in New York City. Um, this spot is called Caliente Cab Con Company. Sorry, Sobieski. <laughs> Caliente Cab Company Mexican Cafe. Because of course, when you think of Tex-Mex, nachos, quesadillas, burritos, you think of Mexicans driving taxi cabs. <laughs> um, I, I pilfered this glass, I'll admit it. I pilfered this glass uh, after one said brunch. This is when I wore purses that were big enough to have a glass this big. Big enough to hold a quarter of a whole pineapple. <laughs> oh. Alright. That's very good, by the way. Mm. That sounded the reason why I got on here, though. Okay. Cell phone drama. Yeah, and it's dramatic. That's why I did my cell phone drama. <laughs> Alright, so, um... God, I gotta... So, what is this? I feel like I should be one of those chicks that do those makeup tutorials. Because I would do something about, like, How to make your rib cage look like the Hulk! Like, what is this? What is happening here? Anyway. <laughs> Just, now I look like a kimono. Alright, so look. Alright, cell phone drama. My cell number has been the same for the last XYZ years because I am lazy <laughs> and I love my cell phone number. It's a 917 number. 917 used to be the area code for the outer boroughs of New York City. So Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, not, not Manhattan, that was, that was 212. <laughs> Bronx, Queens, Staten Island. And Brooklyn. Brooklyn. All right, so I've been holding on to this number forever and ever and ever because now it's very hard to get a 917 number. Uh, it used to be 718, the 917, now it's 347, and then I think there's 646 now. Either way, I'm holding on to 917 because I'm badass like that. <laughs> so here's the deal I get calls from people quite a bit that don't pop up from my. In my, um, I don't have their names programmed into my phone, but I recognize them as New York numbers. And I always do my best to call them back. Number one, it could be a booker. I do comedy, so it could be a booker, someone who wants me to do their show. And I'll have to respectfully decline because I'm down here in Miami. Bye, <laughs> sorry. Unless you're paying for my airfare. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it could be a booker. So I always call back. Then, it could be one of my friends. I have friends who call and don't leave messages. Their phones don't get programmed into my phone because they change their number quite a bit. And instead of saying, hey, this is such and such, usually it's a dude. Hey, this is such and such. I got a new number. Hit me back. They, they never do that. They just like call and then hang up. And I say, well, why wouldn't you just leave a message and let me know it's you? Well, I figure if you got to it, you got to it. So what, you're going to just leave an air of mystery around you? Yeah, pretty much so. I'm like, that's... I don't like this kind of guessing game. <laughs> so in that off chance it's one of my buddies, I will call them back no matter what. Then there's the third category, which is the wrong number category. I am totally okay with a wrong number from New York calling me. I will still call you back because I'm thinking you're in one of the two first categories. I just wanted to make sure that I haven't missed anyone. So today I saw 347 pop up and I was like, oh, my, my boy hasn't called me in a long time. Maybe it's him. So I called back and I was like, hi, I was just calling to see, well, of course, this is the universal sign of the sun. Hi! I was just calling to see if anyone was trying to reach me. And the, there, it was a guy on the other end that I didn't recognize his voice. Nah. Nah, you got the wrong number. 
Oh, well, I saw your number pop up on my on my phone, so I was just calling to make sure. Nah, nah, you got it wrong. Nah, not at all. I'm like, okay, you don't have to be so unpleasant about it. Nah, you got to hang up. Why do I have to hang up? You're the one who called me. Why are you being all weird and accusatory about me calling the wrong number when clearly you were the one who called the wrong number in the first place? Just acknowledge you that you called the wrong number and be like, hey, I'm, uh, my bad, I called the wrong number earlier and uh, I got it sorted out. And then I'll be like, oh, okay, no problem. Don't get all mad at me. No, you got the wrong number. No, you got the wrong number. You got the wrong number first. Don't accuse me of having the wrong number when you had the wrong number first. And then get all mad and snarky about it. So I was like, alright, and then I hung up. Because <laughs> at least, if I'm not going to win the wrong number war, I'm going to win the hang up first war. These are wars that don't matter. 